So we have ProPro and GoCreate are going to be Mad Depression. And the top left on the Carbon team. We have a Helix. We have a Bomber. Meanwhile, on the green team, we have a Bomber and an Osprey. We have Nolcool and Killer. They are Swift Demise. Hopefully they do not experience a Swift Demise, but we'll find out. Uh, going ahead, neutralizing. They're, they're doing a mirror matchup. So this particular map is a wide, empty chasm. You've got paths that go around the right and left side. You've got large bridges that are blocked off by destructible toll booths, and then you have this one lonely center island. What we find is that most, most players will generally gravitate towards the bottom, towards the top, towards the corners, and they'll expand out from there and then push from the corners, and then middle will largely go unignored just because there's a lot of neutrals here. It can be difficult, it can be an overinvestment to try to go to middle, take middle, and then capture it. So, looks like Killer and Nokul are a little bit ahead in this fight. Actually, no! I stand corrected. They did not have the infantry as quickly as Pro Pro. So we stand about even. Both sides, 20 to 15 upkeep. They're about the same. Now, Killer and Nolcool are going to move straight to the bottom left. And they are going to start working on that corner. Now, these corner outposts, they look a little bit different from your typical outposts. That's because these are actually factories. In that case, these increase your overall build speed of all of your units by 20%. Go create may get taken down, but not quite. So Pro Pro is there to body block for him just in case. So green team firmly established right here. They got a good clump of tanks. They got a couple of seekers. And they're not going to lose control of this outpost anytime soon. But go Pro 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 going ahead, trying to steal any units that he can. They have already captured the top right themselves, uncontested by green. So while this seems like Pro Pro and Go Creator on the back foot, in fact, they have the advantage right now. They've got an upkeep, slight upkeep lead, but they're pretty much the same. Um, where are they keeping their units, though? They're holding them back close to this middle outpost, and they're starting to pull some tanks out of this top right as well. Green's got nothing defending over here, so that's one of the other hard parts, is that there's so much surface area on this map that you have left, you have right. These are two completely different spots. Green going ahead, trying to press the advantage. They feel that they can take this on. Pro Pro's got a couple of flackers in front, no heavy mines. Uh, no cool is that Osprey, though, so he's going to have a good time if he can just set up a concave right here and then just start shooting in because his units will be able to keep them topped off. But he's going against... The bomber, he's going against the helix. He almost gets taken out, but the hit scan from Go Create isn't quite good enough. The hit scan from Pro Pro just isn't quite good enough. So Pro Pro using that bomber mantis strike pretty well is going to try and take out some of these units. Uh, Go Create also sniping a handful, whereas Carbon Team isn't losing quite as much. Killer trying to abuse that long range mantis strike as well is going to take out a couple of flackers. But we've got some skirmishes on the top right. Nolcool trying to open up another front, but Pro Pro is just too savvy for that. He will not be outmaneuvered. Now, his problem is that he's trying to stand against these tanks, but he just can't take them down. <laughs> they keep getting healed up. Does manage to kill both Gemini. No cool. Meanwhile, abandons hope on that venture and goes back to the bottom left to help out uh, Killer. Now, Pro Pro is sensing that Green has all of their eggs in one basket. Green has basically got all of their units right here. They're having a hard time pushing because we've got turrets, we've got Longhorn. If they try to move in, the green units will be filtering single file, and all of the carbon units will be pushing at once. This is the embodiment of what you would call defender's advantage, so that green is really finding themselves unable to push despite the fact that they have a unit advantage. So they try dropping a couple behind for distraction and then press in in front of that. Will it be enough, though? Uh, both carbon players are here to try and stop this. You've got the helix, and you've got the bomber. The bomber's got some good area of effect damage. He's rolling that mantis strike in. That mantis strike is hitting multiple tanks. But their outpost is out of energy, so the carbon players aren't going to be able to heal anymore, and their tanks are slowly but surely getting whittled away. So green team is kind of overcoming here, but killer might get taken out by those helix air-to-ground missiles, but GoCreate may or may not know that helix has air-to-ground missiles, so he lands and tries to use ground-to-ground -ground missiles and ends up losing that kill opportunity. Um, but fortunately, wasting some of killer's time, killer not, un not able to take out all of those carbon units, so... Carbon on the back foot here. Nolcool, meanwhile, also going in, dropping some tanks behind. Then Pro Pro can't deal with these yet. Uh, Go Create does finally kill Killer, but 
They're spamming in all of these jumpers. They've got infantry behind. They'll have no trouble capturing this post for the green team, despite the fact that Killer's dead. So Pro Pro, it's on him to handle these infantry to clear these units out before Killer has a chance to respond. Meanwhile, all of these units, they're filtering in single file. Um, that's going to be just lost units. They're, they're well if the Carbon team doesn't stick around. So Carbon loses attention of that and instead changes their focus to top middle and top right where Killer and Nolkul are trying to drop more units. Nolkul with the Osprey, so long as there's no mech here to stop him, is going to be able to harass endlessly. He's going to be able to take out those turrets, take out these tanks. Pro Pro is able to capture that outpost again, is able to take out that tank, but Killer, uh, given the fact that Pro Pro has not been responding here, has been able to capture the left side again. So he's got all those jumpers in the post, stopped wasting his money building more jumpers since they're just getting fed into the meat grinder. Um, at this point, though, the upkeep is even again. The problem is that the income is not even. Uh, Pro Pro is going to find himself outmoneyed and outgunned if he's not able to scrounge up an army and do something with it quickly. Now, he was trying to build up an army, but Go Create has gone ahead and sent that on a push. Pro Pro may or may not be okay with that because you're moving into green strength. You're moving into a pile of tanks. So they're going to have to work their mechs, but Killer getting taken down pretty quickly. Lots of flackers, lots of missiles, lots of bomber mantis strike, but these units are on a capture command. They're not stopping and shooting like they should be. Instead, they're just rolling right into the extra fire from the outpost and the jumpers, and they're going to get taken out as well. So now, Pro Pro with just flackers, um, going to have a hard time keeping the, getting this post down. Um, but fortunately, those flackers are going to be doing constant damage to Nolkul, going to be con doing constant damage to Killer. So they may be able to pull this off, but it's all the damage getting done to the ground army is just with their mechs. Uh, Pro Pro and Go Create really need more units. And with little pickoffs like that, with little miss, miss micros like that, they're going to find that they're not going to have any units to fight with. They do have this very small force in the top right, but that's not a Seeker. That is actually a Stinger socketable, so they have nothing to push with over here, nothing to push with over here. And this is looking pretty good for Null Cool and Killer with that Swift Demise uh, versus Mad Depression. So Pro Pro has got to be starting to look at his options. He's going to be starting to scout around, seeing if there's anything undefended, anything that he can harass, maybe neutralize a base here and there, uh, maybe drop a few infantry. But Null Cool and Killer are doing exactly the same thing. And unfortunately, they can be in two places at the same time. Pro Pro cannot. So Go Create is going to have to step it up a notch and kill all of these green units on the left hand side somehow some way now they're only regular tanks there's not a whole lot of anti-air in the front so he should be able to do this with the helix missiles alone um, and if he does build out some tanks of his own he could use that focus fire to his advantage because these green tanks are also not positioned the best either pro pro is going to lose that tug of war on the top middle but he just needs some infantry that he can spit out here to make that base his again no cool going to keep on dropping tanks Keep on dropping Gemini and neutralize that top right outpost if he's at all able. Unfortunately, moving it out into the neutral, so he's going to have a little bit more of a headache doing that. So it goes ahead, pulls back. Pro Pro trying desperately to neutralize this post. Go create, not dropping the infantry on the low ground, instead dropping them on the high ground. And some of these are probably going to get picked off before they are able to enter that outpost and make it carbons. Green team, meanwhile is probably aware that there's some heavy mines here, would be my guess. They're leapfrogging forward with a couple of ratchets. They've seen some good heavy mine detonations this tournament. Dropping a tank on the high ground, if this doesn't get dealt with, that little bit of chip damage over time is eventually going to add up. This is essentially monopolizing the attention game. Pro Pro can only be in one place at a time, so if you just keep going everywhere, then eventually you're going to be able to overpower him. So Pro Pro has to drop something in response to that, but because it's on the high ground, can't really block that fire and make the damage stop. Green is going to go ahead and move in. They're feeling comfortable. And so he drops the ratchets on the offense to try and neutralize the heavy mines that he knows are there, and one sacrificial tank so you don't get the splash damage to the other um, to the other vehicles. So now that those heavy mines are basically cleared out, they're probably going to go ahead and push forward, but they're letting their tanks bunch up first so they have concentrated firepower. So in this case, Go Create knows what's coming, but he can't do a whole lot about it. Two more heavy mines going down to one tank, and as these ratchets clean sweep through, we now know as the green team there's no mines here, clean to push, 
moving right in. So they've got this massive firepower advantage. No one really cares about the rest of the map anymore. Go Create gets picked off by one of the Seekers with four anti-air Seekers right here. Five, actually, and the air fire. Uh, Pro Pro probably does not have enough to make this happen. Even as Bomber, there's just too much anti-air. He's unable to really land and get that damage. So Pro Pro and Go Create actually getting knocked out of this tournament. He was carrying well, but just not quite well enough getting taken down by a team of two somewhat lesser but still more competent when gathered players so that's a gg and we'll be moving on to the other side of the semifinals again but bracket 13 is now complete mad depression getting knocked out swift demise moving on to the finals match congratulations